Thank you, Christopher. I seen enough. I have to tell you, I really tried with this one. I did. I relaxed, I focused, I did just as you told me, Christopher. But I'm sorry, it was unacceptable, I'm afraid. Don't get me wrong, I like a man with a sense of humor, but... Christopher, are you paying attention? It was unacceptable. Not to your liking again, I take it, Mrs. Patterson. Unacceptable. Unacceptable, not what I expected, and certainly not grand. No? No. Would you prefer to have already baked the cake, perhaps? Christopher, that was not the issue. The fall, then? Actually, the fall wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I landed a bit hard on the floor there, but that's to be expected, right? Yes, well, you did have a major stroke on a summer's day. Were you uncomfortable? The impact was a little hard, but I was completely paralyzed, so I'd live with that. <laughs> oh, yes, well done, Mrs. Patterson. <laughs> well, we do try to add some paralysis in there to make the fall more comfortable. But all that aside, Christopher, I'd rather not spend my last moments musing on the meaning of it all while staring at fake breasts in a trashy magazine. It's not what I expected. It's unacceptable. It is. I see. Here's the thing, Mrs. Patterson. As you've discovered with the previous experiences, there is always something, let's say, disorderly. That's the business, I'm afraid. Remember Electric Blues, for instance? Should there be all this smoke? <coughs> Slippery Sunday, remember, under the bathroom cabinets? What on earth is all that pubic hair doing under there? And who could forget falling for you? This little bastard looks as if he's come to chop me up into pieces. Help me up, will you? You see, some of these little details, like what happens to be in the room at the time. For example, a magazine that you happen to be reading a recipe from are a little out of my control. It's what makes the experience your own, so to speak. I only sell the setup. What's in the room... It's all yours, I'm afraid. In this situation, the fake breasts you're talking about are what we refer to as a unique experience. A surprise, if you will. May I perhaps suggest reading a magazine with a little more taste? Well, you might be right there, Christopher. But it wasn't just the breasts staring me in the face. My stroke on a summer's day just wasn't enough. I want something grand, a magnificent gesture, something they'll remember me by. I want it to be perfect, dramatic, like in the movies. I want to fall in slow motion. I want to whisper something like, Rosebud. Do you have anything with roses? Rosebud. I think we might have it, Mrs. Patterson. Oh, really? Trust me. You cannot live without this one.
Remember, don't open it. You'll ruin the surprise. Take it. 